all right, I don't want to hear anything about where Gale of Darkness and Coliseum ended up after the bullshit you two just pulled. It's all good. Gale of Darkness is in front of Coliseum, just like it should be. Our viewers are wiser than that. They understand how false that is. Cry me a river, Donald. All right, fellas, I have faith that we can complete this before you two spontaneously combust again. Let's fire things back up with Pokemon Rumble. As it currently stands, this is a five-game series, starting with the WiiWare release, which was a beat-em-up game featuring toy Pokemon come to life battling in real time through linear dungeons. What did you guys think? The first one was the best one. Leave it to Jurassic Joe to say the oldest game in the series is the best. It's not about the age, Don. It's about how the original Pokemon Rumble had the best features. I also have the best features. Don, you look like an overgrown Oompa Loompa got hit by the Oscar Mayer truck and then got trapped in a tanning bed. And the original Pokemon Rumble is still the best. They just reused models from my Pokemon Ranch to make that game. Lazy. Nothing can top Pokemon Rumble Blast. This was where the story God, really became shit. involved. The characters were magnificent. The graphics are improved, not to mention the abilities and an increased roster of available Pokemon. Pokemon Rumble World has an even bigger roster, and it's an even bigger piece of shit than Blast was. I'll give you that Rumble World was AIDS. Especially with the microtransaction model they were trying to run with. For a game that you can actually own on the system, it's absurd to think I would need to pay more to keep playing it. Hey, that part didn't bother me so much. Yeah, keep getting small loans of a million dollars from Daddy to get premium features on Rumble World. Shut the fuck up, Joe. It's easy to see, then, why Rumble Rush, the mobile iteration released on Android and iOS, was so unsuccessful. That game was shut down less than a year after its release. It lasted about as long as all of Don's successful businesses. Yeah, I couldn't hear you over the sound of all the zeros in my bank account. But Rush was indeed a shitstorm. That one is D-tier. Agreed. Yep. And we'll say World was C-tier only because it's still a decent enough game. Now, what about Pokemon Rumble U? the Wii U version. Mid as fuck, the dungeon exploring mechanic was completely foregone in favor of the snooze fest battle arena system. All of these games are short in content as it is, but this one had to be the biggest waste of money in a box with a Pokemon logo on it. 100% D tier for that one as well. Excellent, now we just need to settle the debate over the original and Blast. Just put Blast in A. Ain't no way. It's where it belongs, Joe. Blast lacked shiny Pokemon, couch co-op, a gotcha machine, and Don lacks the balls to admit it. Who cares about shinies if there's no good narrative to enjoy? Now, boys, you both make excellent points. I don't think either of these games are necessarily bad. In fact, if they were somehow merged together with their combined features, it would be the best Pokemon Rumble game. How about we call it a tie between these two and place them in the B tier? What, B tier? How the fuck Come is on. Blast a B tier game? As fun as some of these can be, there's no such thing as a Pokemon Rumble game that belongs in A or above. My list, my rules. Well, look who decided to grow some balls. Yeah, Barry's got balls of coal. Are you saying his balls are black? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? They're not. I mean, his balls are great, you know. I, I'm i just going to shut up now. Um, Fucking weirdo. All right. Up next is Pokey Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure. This game was so cute. I loved the visuals and music, and I had a ton of fun completing the various attractions in the park to retrieve the pieces of the sky prism. What a joke. This game was so boring, I'm surprised you could stay awake long enough to play any of it. I'm surprised your cholesterol levels haven't induced a heart attack yet, but I guess the world is full of surprises. Yeah, like when your mom found out she was pregnant with you and wished she would have pulled out. Yeah, I was doing back shots on Melania last night. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, Joe. A real meeting of the minds here. Barry, you cannot honestly tell me you enjoyed this game. Look, it's clearly meant for a younger audience. I think it achieves what it set out to do. Some of the events can be repetitive, but the feeling of progression is really nice. And I enjoy how dynamic the park areas can be. The only thing that's dynamic here is Joe's cognitive function. Shut the fuck up, Don. This is a D-tier game at best. Joe? This is an A-tier game. It was so unique and exciting playing as a Pokemon in a beautiful 3D landscape. Uh, and the sequel, Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond, only raised the bar further. Easy S-tier game. Wonders Beyond tried to run with a formula that already wasn't working. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You can't polish a turd. Spoken like a true asshole. Aren't you the one always bitching about not having interesting environments to explore? Yes, but I want that in a traditional Pokemon game, not this spin-off piece of shit. This dude can't be satisfied. Now, Don, you have to take into account the significant upgrades the sequel brought. Between the puzzles, platforming sections, 
and improved combat mechanics, Wonders Beyond took the formula to a new level. Exactly. It also had a more structured storyline and finally added multiplayer, which was the icing on the proverbial cake. The only proverb you need is, thou shalt not put shitty games in the A tier. They're both D tier games. I am putting my foot down. Please don't do that or you'll shake the ground again. Fuck off, Brandon. Anyway, based on our votes, Poke Park Wii goes in the B tier and Poke Park 2 goes in A. And now we come to Pokemon Puzzle League for the Nintendo 64. Garbage. Being garbage at the game doesn't make the game garbage. The game's garbage, Joe. You probably fat-fingered all the inputs. This game is insanely fun and challenging, not to mention competitive with the multiplayer features. Damn straight, Joe. This game is a take on Tetris Attack, where you switch tiles rapidly to make matches and clear lines. And then we have the Game Boy iteration, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Which is also garbage. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, Puzzle Challenge for Game Boy is roughly the same, except it has graphics and features more appropriate for our beloved little handheld. And of course, you could play it on the go. I played the shit out of Puzzle Challenge while waiting for my dementia checkup appointments. How do you even remember that, Joe? I, uh, I don't know. Wait, whose memories are these? Dear God. Suffice to say that they are both excellent games, but given the concentration on being a Tetris attack-like puzzle game, the Pokemon elements aren't quite as present as one might want. Which is exactly the gripe I have with these games. Leave it to Don to have difficulties with anything puzzle related. The only thing I have difficulty puzzling out is how the fuck you are still alive. I wonder the same thing about you. It's almost heart attack season. Boys, come on. Where are these going? I'd like to put League in A and Challenge in B. I think they're both B-tier games. Nothing is really better or worse about either of them, honestly. They're both going in D-tier. Donald. You know that we take the average of our votes to make this decision. Those are the rules. Screw the rules. I have money. Literally no one cares. Okay, I'll put League in B and Challenge in C. Next up is Pokemon Pinball for Game Boy Color. And let's compare it to Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire for Game Boy Advance while we're at it. Both were such good games, I don't think I could pick a favorite. I'm with you on that, Joe. It's a fun series. There's no mistaking it. But with that said, I think we better address the elephant in the room. Who? You? Very funny, dickhead. I'm talking about how superior Ruby and Sapphire Pinball is. First, you have the extended roster with my beloved Gen 3 Pokemon. Second, the graphics are vastly improved. And finally, the camera panning from the top to the bottom of the pinball board makes the experience so much smoother. In the original Pokemon Pinball, the screen would instantly cut between the top and bottom of the board, how the hell are you not supposed to get epilepsy from that shit? I had no problem with that. It was a clever workaround to address the limitations of the Game Boy Color. You probably have no problem keeping up with the quick, flashy screens because of all the cocaine you do with your son in the White House. Donald, the Biden family wasn't even in the area the weekend that the cocaine was found. Oh, are you his alibi, Barry? You were probably snorting it with him, you fucking crackhead. That is racist as fuck to assume that I do crack rather than cocaine just because I'm black. Oh, for God's sake, I can never just be taken within context. The fuck do you expect when the context is a racist saying racist things? Shut the fuck up, Joe. Now, I think racist Don has a point when he talks about the improvements Ruby and Sapphire Pinball made, but I still quite enjoyed the original title. Racist Don fails to consider that the Game Boy release already had many of the mechanics that he loves so much about the sequel. Stop calling me racist Don. And between the better physics, the introduction of the hatch mechanic, and the beautiful bonus stages, you cannot seriously argue that these games are on the same wavelength. Unfortunately, I have to agree with Don on that. What tiers are you thinking, gentlemen? They're both B tier. Original goes in C, and Ruby and Sapphire goes in A. I have to agree with Don. Sorry, Joe, you've been overruled. At least I can respect the democratic process. Plays unfairly, calls it respecting the democratic process. Next up is Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. As the title suggests, this is essentially a video game version of the trading card game. It's got that adorable Game Boy aesthetic and is great if you don't have any friends to play the card game with like Don. Ouch. Don, do you need a sack of ice for that searing burn? Sure, I can use the ice to preserve your body when I unplug your life support machine, Joe. This game was stellar. This was back when the Pokemon TCG was actually good. I love the feeling of progression in this game and deck building was a blast. Silly Don, nothing is as good as playing the actual card game. 
Oh, you mean the world's biggest scam? I love buying boosters and getting no hollows. That sounds like a skill issue to me. There's something special about touching physical cards, but this tier list only concerns video games, Joe. The new TCG application Nintendo recently unveiled looks very promising. Yeah, you get two free packs a day. Maybe you'll actually get a hollow. Maybe your head will be even more hollow when I punch you square in the face. Okay, easy on the threats of violence. This is a B-tier game for me. The AI is dumb sometimes, and your opponents are generally underpowered, but the game is surprisingly balanced as far as how you obtain new cards. Fuck off with these L takes. This game is A-tier. The fact it still holds up today in its original form speaks volumes about its quality. This game is so boring, Donald. I feel like it takes forever to get through every duel, and I feel myself just wanting to play a traditional Pokemon game instead. The only thing that's boring is Jill riding on top. Enough of the wife jokes. Joe, where is this going? Uh, I'd say it's D tier, personally. All right, it will go in B, then. And now we ought to address the two Pokemon Ranger sequels we missed in the last video, Shadows of Almia and Guardian Signs. And since I haven't personally played any of them, I leave the debate to you two. Oh, Shadows of Almia is the better game. Don't even try to argue that, Joe. While I can credit that game with improving on the tedious capture combo mechanic of the original, Guardian Signs took everything to the next level. The legendary signs, the story, the music, everything about it was top tier. You could fly around the region, unlike in your pathetic excuse for a game. Joe, Shadows of Almia had better music, big partner variety, and a better narrative with a better twist. Don, your troglodyte brain cannot wrap itself around how superior Guardian Signs was. Pretty ironic to have you, of all people, compare me to a fossil. Don, a troglodyte is a cave dweller. You're thinking of a trilobite, the state fossil of Ohio. Don's the state idiot of New York. And you're the state cadaver of Delaware. OK, come on, guys. Let's hear your votes. S tier. I don't suppose you're going to budge on that either, so I guess they're both S tier games. Let's proceed, gentlemen. Next is Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii. F tier. Donald F tier is for the worst of the worst. A description which fits this game perfectly. And you as well as it happens. Wasn't listening. This game is basically just a worse Pokemon stadium. The rental system is shot. You practically need a copy of Diamond or Pearl to properly enjoy it before the post game. There were no mini games in this one unlike the stadium games, and yet it's still a full price title. For what? Basically, a Gen 4 battle simulator. Honestly, he isn't really wrong on this one. I gotta commend this game for its soundtrack, and the animation was ahead of its time. Hell, some of it even looks better than sword and shield animations. But other than that, this game was a dud, and barely even qualifies as a game. It was merely a way to battle on the big screen with the latest Pokemon. I think it's a good contender for D tier. I wouldn't mind C tier just for nostalgia's sake. Joe, the entire history of the world is nostalgic for you. 550 BC, back when they created ice cream about a thousand years after you were born. Ooh, I love ice cream, even when I get brain freeze. There's no brain to freeze, Joe. Anyway, the median is D tier in this case. And now we come to Pokemon Cafe Remix a free-to-start puzzle game for Nintendo Switch. It features an adorable art style and a simple matching mechanic. This game is pay-to-play garbage. If you run into a level that is practically unbeatable without items, then you gotta buy items with golden acorns. And if you are out of golden acorns, then you're shit out of luck. Especially because when they change the game name from Mix to Remix, they also change the game so that you waste a heart whether you beat the level or not. Such an obvious gotcha ploy. Donald, I thought you wouldn't mind spending money on a game like this, seeing as you have endless amounts of it. Something you poors always seem to fail to learn is that the rich get rich by not spending all of their money on bullshit like this. Oh, Don, that is such a woefully smooth-brained and exhaustingly debunked take on why poverty exists. Poverty exists because you spend all their tax dollars on a bunch of bullshit, Joe. Oh, really? A majority of American tax dollars goes to defense spending, and you're telling me that's a liberal policy? What an idiotic suggestion, even for you. Gotta protect the world from the Chinas and the Russias of the world. And by the world, you mean America. America is the world, Joe. <sighs> okay, we all know where gotcha games go. Next up is Pokemon Quest. This is a free-to-play action adventure that was first released on Switch and later on Android and iOS. Hideous cube art style, Minecraft looking ass. Don, you love Minecraft, don't even start. And at least you really didn't have to use the microtransactions to continue playing for a free game. I feel like you can't complain too much. I will complain all I want. Nintendo treats their intellectual property like Barry treats bombs. 
just throws them all over the place. Donald, do not get me fucking started. Oh, I invite you to start, really. In 2017, your first year of presidency, you dropped over 60,208 bombs, yeah, a 28% well, increase on the previous year. That means every day in 2017, you dropped seven bombs per hour somewhere overseas on combatants or otherwise civilians. They shouldn't have been standing there. You launched there. 176 drone strikes in Yemen in just two years, Stalk whereas Yemen. I launched 154 there throughout all eight years of my presidency. I'm just better. Furthermore, you tore down the measures I put in place to help hold ourselves accountable for how much bombing we do, so we can't even acquire accurate data as to how much damage you've done in the following years. You just want the data to see if you beat me in drone strikes. Donald, so help me, God. I will drone strike Trump Tower. Hey, come on, guys. Fuck. We've only got a few games left. <sighs> OK, I'm calm. This trigger-happy troll is triggered, go figure. All right, calm down, you fucking failed weight loss ad. Where should this game go? It's ugly and boring, F tier. Sounds like someone I know. Talk to the hand, Joe. I found it quite enjoyable and still return to it on occasion. There's no catching mechanic, but the battling is automatic and a good time passer. B tier for me. I think C is fine. We'll go with C then. Next is Pokemon Masters EX. Oh boy, another gotcha game. True, but this one is actually pretty good. I don't know, Barry. There's not a whole lot of content and the co-op functionality could use some love. True, but the animations look wonderful. It's fun to see interactions between characters from the games and anime that you wouldn't otherwise see. And it is great for killing time. You know what else is great for killing time? Don't say Here it, Donald, come on. Go. Clapping Michelle's cheeks. Jesus fucking Christ. And Jill's too. Don, don't lie, you haven't seen your penis in years. Joe, I will snap your neck like a twig. Hey, easy, come on now. He called me fat again. Well, when someone calls you fat, Donald, ignore them. You're bigger than that. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God, Barry, that was cold. Anyway, where should this one go? No one really cares, I say C tier. D tier. Donald, do you like any games? No. All right then, C tier. And finally, we will be wrapping things up with Pokemon Conquest, a Nintendo DS crossover between the Pokemon and Nobunaga's ambition series of games. Biggest S tier on this list. Easily, this game is straight fire. Pokemon made into a tactical RPG? Sign me the fuck up. Oh, agreed on all counts. On paper, it seems strange, but this crossover really works. The presentation is top notch. The combat is insane. The music, Barry. Don't forget about the music. Oh, yes, very memorable soundtrack. And fun gimmicky maps, plus a good difficulty all around. This game deserves a remake or a sequel on the Switch. We can agree that this is top of S tier. Oh, absolutely. 100%. All right, then. And with that, we've completed the tier list. Man, another one down. Is that what you say to yourself every day after your morning Big Mac? Shut the hell up, Joe. Comment below if Don should go on a diet. Joe, who the fuck are you talking to? That's it, we broke him. He's officially lost it. Poor Joe, whoever he is. Well, anyway, you guys coming over for some poking tournament? Fuck yeah, I'll be right over. I'll bring the pizza. I know what you guys like, but uh, what toppings does Joe like? Ice, Ice cream. cream. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Joe has good taste. For fuck's sake, I better call Jill. Who cares? Just let his life end before the tower that is America comes crumbling down. Speaking of towers crumbling down, you know that tower you spent eight hours building in Minecraft last night? Yeah, what of it? Oh, you're sharing a screen. Ooh, I want to watch. Wait, what is this? What's happening? And who built a giant penis in front of my beloved tower? Oh, yeah, Don. You got off early last night, and so I built a giant penis. Ha, ha, ha. And what is that contraption heading towards my tower? Yeah, I, uh, this is me drone striking your tower, Don. Barry, I know for a fact you are not undoing eight hours of meticulous work. Yeah. No! Ha, 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 No! <laughs> Why? 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 And oh God, you clicked save too. I can't believe this. Why would you do something like that? Ah, uh, don't worry, Don. I made a backup save. Your tower is safe. Yeah, come on, Don. What do you take us for? God damn, you stupid motherfuckers. You really got me there. I love you assholes. Love, love you, you too, too Don. Don. See you soon.